All right, y'all. So uh, today I'm doing the um, fettuccine Alfredo without noodles, kind of making your own egg noodles. Um, so I'm doing, usually it's just two eggs and one ounce of cream cheese in the blender, but I'm going to do four eggs because I'm on an egg fast and I need to get my egg content up for the day. Uh, and I'm doing two ounces of cream cheese, which I measured on um, my little scale here in grams to be more accurate. So anyway, I have that in there. Next, you're going to add a little, I got a million seasonings in here. You're going to add, um, if I can find it, some garlic powder and uh, a little pink Himalayan sea salt and some people put flour but I'm not. all right so i'm just going to add a little of the seasoning just a little bit to add flavor to the noodles um kind of hard to twist this while i'm on here so I'm, i'll just show you after i put the salt in and put it in. i think that's good all right, so I have the greased pan, a uh, pretty large pan, so that when I pour the egg mixture in there, it'll be spread evenly and it won't be so thick when I cut the noodles out. So I'll do that. I'm cheap, I don't like to waste nothing. <laughs> All right. So I've got the egg mixture in there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is my preheated oven should be on 325 or 350. <clears throat> see. All right, then we'll bake that. All right, y'all. So uh, today I'm doing the um, fettuccine Alfredo without noodles kind of all right so the egg is out of the oven and the main reason for putting the butter in the bottom of the pan is so that it'll lift up like that uh this will be our noodles but now we're gonna make the sauce the alfredo sauce so i'm using about two tablespoons of uh grass-fed butter um about a cup of cream cheese and Parmesan cheese, just enough to make it cheesy or whatever. Um, and then I'll season it with a little garlic powder and pink Himalayan salt for taste. All right, so now the sauce and everything is melted properly. All the cheese is melted. Uh, it takes a little while. You have to try to keep stirring it so that everything mixes in properly so that will be my alfredo sauce um it does help to add a little he heavy cream to the mixture to uh make it a little less thick but um that's what it looks like sorry when it's all done so next we're going to cut up the noodles all right, next we're gonna take the uh, shoot the egg really gently out of the pan. So you roll it up nice and firm. Uh, a really important key to being able to roll the egg up is letting it cool down for about five or 10 minutes before you roll it or it's just gonna completely fall apart. So bam, I got a whole egg roll, right? Boom, I'm gonna get this pan out the way. Now I'm just gonna make slices really thin and I have my quote unquote noodle, <laughs> my egg noodles, my fettuccine egg noodles. You gotta be really gentle with them, but you end up with these long egg noodles for your pasta. All right, so now we have all of our noodles, <laughs> our egg noodles, uh, the bowl, and my creamy Alfredo sauce. So I'm going to just take a few of the noodles, 
spread them out on the bowl um, and then spoon some of my sauce. I did this really bad. Just spread it around on your egg noodles um, as much as you want or as much as your daily macros will allow. And it's really not half bad. It's not bad at all, actually. It's really filling. So what I like to do is put a little paprika on top to finish it off. And because I'm bougie, put a little parsley.